Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. How are you guys? I am Mansoor Ahmad with my uh, YouTube channel Word Chemistry. I hope that all are going well. So let's we will start uh, another topic and that is about uh, sulfonation. So you know, I have uh, started a series on the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction of benzene. So we will uh, discuss another example. The topic is about sulfonation. Let's we will uh, start the uh, topic. Sulfonation of benzene. Sulfonation of benzene. We will uh, today add another electrophile uh, into the benzene uh, molecule. So here uh, the word sulfonation means the addition of uh, sulfonic acid group. Here uh, sulfonation means addition <coughs> addition of sulfonic acid group. What does mean by sulfonic acid? We will discuss all of these in detail today. So if I uh, go uh, through the uh, procedure as I uh, went uh, in the uh, previous lectures. So first I will uh, explain the uh, definition. I will write the definition of sulfonation. After that we will write its general example. In the last we will explain the detailed mechanism of the uh, reaction. So what does uh, me, uh, mean by uh, sulfonation of the benzene? It is very easy. Suppose this is benzene molecule. This is a benzene molecule. This is one hydrogen atom of the benzene molecule. We will react sulfuric acid with the benzene molecule. You know this This hydrogen atom will replace by this SO3H and this is known as substitution reactions in which the one hydrogen atom will be replaced by the help of sulfonic acid group SO3H is known as sulfonic acid group this is called sulfonic acid and this is also known as sulfono group sulfono group or sometimes it is also known as sulfonyl group these are a different name given to SO3H so what does it mean by sulfonation it means that the replacement of hydrogen atom of the benzene by the help of sulfonic acid group or sulfono group or sulfonyl group in the presence of a catalyst which is concentrated sulfuric acid by applying temperature that is almost 80 degrees centigrade to form what will be the final product uh, that is a uh, benzene sulfonic acid this will be our final product we will explain it through the examples so first i will write its uh, definition the definition of sulfonation it is very easy the definition is like this the replacement the replacement of the hydrogen atom the replacement of hydrogen atom of benzene ring of benzene ring by a sulfonic acid group sulfonic acid group this is what this is sulfonic acid group we will obtain this sulfonic acid group basically from uh, sulfuric acid we will discuss understand by sulfonic acid group in the presence of in the presence of a catalyst in the presence of a catalyst that is concentrated sulfuric acid again in uh, this reaction we will use concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst as we uh, studied it in the nitration also in the process of nitration we also used concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst so this time we are also again uh, passing or i mean we are using this uh, concentrated sulfuric acid 
concentrated sulfuric acid at 80 degree centigrade 80 degree centigrade to give to give benzene sulfonic acid basically benzene sulfonic acid is our final product which is formed during this reaction benzene sulfonic acid is known as sulfonation of the benzene understand very easy the replacement of the hydrogen atom of benzene ring by a sulfonic acid group by a sul sulfonic acid group in the presence of a catalyst that is concentrated sulfuric acid at 80 degrees centigrade to give or to form benzene sulfonic acid is known as sulfonation of the benzene now the same will be uh, explained well by the help of attacking examples so we will take the example note it here doesn't i will uh, explain the uh, two examples in both of the examples our final product will be uh, benzene sulfonic acid I mean that this reaction uh, generally takes place in two ways. The reaction is basically uh, taking in two ways. So first I will uh, explain way number one, method number one. There's one, suppose this is a benzene molecule. This is a benzene molecule. Again, I am showing one of the hydrogen atom of the benzene molecule because i want to do the reaction of this hydrogen or i want to replace this hydrogen atom and remember i can also uh, replace hydrogen atom from the, this carbon also from any part of the benzene you can replace the hydrogen because all of the carbon atom present in the benzene molecule have same bond length same bond energy same hybridization so all the properties of the uh, carbon present a uh, carbon atom present in a benzene molecule have, uh, has basically uh, same properties understand so i can uh, replace the hydrogen atom from any carbon atom uh, from any carbon atom of the benzene molecule see understand this one so suppose this is a benzene molecule with this benzene molecule i am reacting a reactant a reagent that is sulfuric acid this is what is not this is a sulfuric acid h2so4 understand in the presence of we use a catalyst that is concentrated sulfuric acid h2so4 understand we are basically taking in uh, method number one or in way number one we are basically taking two molecules of the sulfuric acid in which one of the molecule will react as a uh, reactant or reagent while the second molecule react as a catalyst so i will write here this molecule of the uh, sulfuric acid is used as a reactant that means it takes part in the uh, formation of product while this part is used as a catalyst this will just take part in the initial of the reaction in the last it will remain as it uh, in the uh, initial state as it is in its initial state so this is what this is a sulfuric acid which is basically our sulfonating agent this is called sulfonating agent what does it mean by sulfonating agent the agent which provide us a sulfonic acid group is known as sulfonating agent as this uh, sulfuric acid provides a sulfonic acid group that's why this is known as a sulfonating agent understand and this reaction is uh, specially carried out in the presence of uh, heat temperature that is 80 degrees centigrade what will happen simply this hydrogen atom of the benzene will react with oh understand and this part of the sulfuric acid which is basically sulfonic acid group or sulfonyl group or sulfono group will attack on this 
benzene molecule. That is, the hydrogen atom is basically replaced by this group. So what will form? Basically, a compound will form which is benzene sulfonic acid, SO3H. This will be our final product. The product is known as benzene sulfonic acid. Understand, isn't Plus, one molecule of the water will also form because the hydrogen will react with this OH part of the sulfuric acid. So this is uh, basically uh, method number one, in which I am taking two molecules of the sulfuric acid. One will be the reactant, while the other one will be catalyst. So this is method number one. Understand this one? Right? So, uh, similarly, there is uh, one more method, or there is one more way to explain this reaction. That is method number two. So I am writing here method number two. Suppose this is a benzene molecule. Again, this is hydrogen atom of the benzene. This is a benzene molecule. Now, this time with this benzene molecule, I am reacting a gas, that is sulfur trioxide. Instead of sulfuric acid, this time I am taking sulfur trioxide. The same catalyst will be used, that is concentrated sulfuric acid. If I use sulfur trioxide instead of sulfuric acid, then there will be no requirement of temperature. The temperature will be normal, that is 25 degree centigrade, which is basically RT. RT means room temperature. In case of sulfur trioxide using as a reactant, the, 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 then the reaction will take place at room temperature. Understand this one? Then what will happen? Simply this SO3 will attack on this benzene molecule and this hydrogen atom of the benzene will react or will combine with this part. So this product will be formed. The same benzene sulfonic acid, SO3H. This is again benzene sulfonic acid, which is our final product. Note it that this hydrogen atom is replaced. The same hydrogen atom will react with SO3, forming sulfonic acid group. Understand? When the same sulfonic acid group combines with benzene, then it forms benzene sulfonic acid because the sulfonic acid group now combines with a benzene molecule. You have to remember. So now what we uh, specially uh, conclude from these uh, two reactions, we will uh, conclude that if I use uh, sulfuric acid as a reactant, then there will be a one molecule of the water will also formed as a side product with benzene sulfonic acid. If I use sulfur trioxide, then there will be no formation of the water molecule as a side product. You have to remember this point. Understand? Point number two. This is known as fuming sulfuric acid. This is what this one? This is fuming sulfuric acid. Fuming sulfuric acid. What does mean by fuming sulfuric acid? Fuming sulfuric acid is itself a mixture of two quantities. That is H2SO4, sulfuric acid, plus SO3, sulfur trioxide. The mixture of these two is known as fuming sulfuric acid, which is itself equal to H2S2O7. This is called oleum. This is called oleum, or this is also known as pyrosulfuric acid. Pyrosulfuric acid. Understand it, right? This is the difference between simple concentrated sulfuric acid and fuming sulfuric acid. Understand? In case of fuming sulfuric acid, there is no need of temperature. The reaction will be at RT. 
while in case of sulfuric acid using as a reactant then we apply the it which is almost equal to 80 degree centigrade so this is the point to remember one more question the our electrophile in case of sulfonation sulfonation is not sulfonic acid group you have to remember this is not our electrophile this is only the simple way to show the reaction we know that what is our electrophile in case of sulfonation in case of sulfonation our electrophile is sulfur trioxide not sulfonic acid group this is just a simple way to represent the uh, reaction but this doesn't show any relative the relative is only present in case of the mechanism of reaction now we will discuss the mechanism so you have to remember this point now we will explain the mechanism of this reaction by the help of mechanism we will be uh, able to learn more points related to sulfonation mechanism the mechanism is uh, very simple because mechanism of the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction of all the process are almost equal are almost same so look at the mechanism the step number one step number one which is known as generation of electrophile generation of electrophile you have to remember in electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction we always generate an electrophile in the first step why we generate an electrophile in first step because this is electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions in electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions the initial attack is always done by an electrophile therefore we generate an electrophile in the first step so now i will um, basically explain the mechanism of the method number one not method number two it, the mechanism of that reaction in which sulfuric acid was used as a reactant understand this one how uh, an electrophile is uh, generated in this uh, step we will explain suppose i am taking two molecules of the sulfuric acid h2so4 why i am taking two molecule because in example number one one of the molecule of the sulfuric acid was used as a reactant while the other was used as a catalyst so what will happen when i uh, take basically two molecules of the concentrated sulfuric acid then three types of the materials will be formed in which one of its will be sulfur trioxide the other will be h3o positive and the third one will be hso4 minus recent this is sulfur trioxide this is hydronium ion and this is hydrogen or by sulfate ion this is the generation of electrophile we will discuss that in detail how these three materials will be formed from these two molecules of the sulfuric acid we will explain now before explaining that point it is very important to clear first this portion because here a portion comes now a question may arises in your mind that what which one will be uh, our electrophile in these uh, two understand now you you may think that this is our electrophile because it carries a positive charge and all positively charged carrying atoms are group of the atom is known as electrophile which is right but not 100 percent our electrophile is not hydronium ion in case of sulfonation but this sulfur trioxide is our electrophile how this is our electrophile even there is no positive charge on sulfur trioxide but on hydronium ion there is a positive charge still this is not our electrophile but this it which looks like a neutral molecule is our electrophile we will explain look at this result this is suppose the structure of sulfur trioxide this is the structure of sulfur trioxide since one sulfur atom make 
three bonds we uh, six bond with the three oxygen atoms the ox neg ox electronegativity of the oxygen atom is greater than sulfur so what will happen basically this oxygen atom will attract the electron from sulfur which uh, creates a partial positive charge on this sulfur atom similarly this oxygen atom also attracts the shared pair of electron from sulfur it basically increases the partial positive charge of sulfur atom more on the other end this oxygen atom also attracts the shear pair of electron from the sulfur atoms which in turn it becomes more partial positive why because three oxygen which is most electronegative elements attracts the shear pair of electrons that is why the sulfur becomes more partial positive in the nature that's why it becomes an electropile we have studied in detail that positively charged species are electropiles partial positive charges are also electropiles understand sometimes neutral molecules are also considered as electropile because they have weakened orbitals like lewis acid the lewis acid is also classified as electropiles because they have the uh, capability they have the capability to store to accept the electrons so now if i can look to a uh, sulfur trioxide here in this case it is partial positive it is more partial positive because the three oxygen atoms compels the sulfur electrons to give the electrons understand so this is our electropiles now i will give the reason that why it cannot be electropile look at this suppose this is the oxygen atom it forms two bonds with hydrogen and here it forms a coordinate covalent bond with these hydrogen atoms therefore there is a positive charge understand it isn't now this can't be our electropile reason number one if it gives hydrogen atom then a hydrogen atom will react with the benzene molecule so what will be the benefit we remove one hydrogen atom from the benzene molecule and substitute in other hydrogen atom on the benzene molecule as a net result there is no exchange of the new groups we all remove the hydrogen atom from the benzene molecule and later again we add an hydrogen atom on the benzene molecule so the same benzene before the reaction it was benzene after the be reaction it will be again benzene so what is the advantage of this reaction so there will be no net result so that's why it can't be our electropile the another uh, uh, point which i explained that it cannot be an electropile since the oxygen atom already has bonded with the hydrogen atom it means the oxygen has given its electron to the hydrogen therefore it can't uh, make now bond therefore it doesn't have the capability to store electrons understand this isn't so this is the reason that this can't be electropiles while this is our electropiles so note this point now we will explain that how these uh, three materials are formed from this one we will explain this point suppose this is one molecule of the sulfuric acid as i am taking two molecules this is one molecule understand this one and this is another molecule of sulfuric acid now what happens we know that each oxygen atom has two lone pairs of electron now this oxygen will give its lone pair of electron to this hydrogen atom it means it will be protonated since this is sulfuric acid the work the job of sulfuric acid is to proton to give a proton so the same is case this sulfuric acid provides a proton due to which the lone pair present on the oxygen atom donates its lone pair to this proton so what will happen this one this will form hydrogen hydrogen 
SO3H. Now there becomes a positive charge on oxygen because generally oxygen forms two bonds. Whenever an oxygen atom forms its third bond by the help of its lone pair, then a positive charge comes on it. Just like is the case here with this oxygen atom. On the other hand, this Hydrogen will give its electron to oxygen. So basically, SO3H, we get you. This will form with us. This is nothing, just HSO4 minus. That is hydrogen sulfate or bisulfate ion. Now, what will happen? Now, this oxygen atom will basically attract its electron from the sulfur atom understand when this positive oxygen atom attracts electrons from sulfur atom then here from this part the bond will be broken and there will come a positive charge on the sulfur atom the case will be like this this becomes simple a water molecule with two lone pairs again there comes SO3H a positive charge on the sulfur atom understand isn't now what will happen now look at this sulfur will attract the electron from hydrogen atom now it becomes positive Again, these lone pair present on the oxygen atom will give its electron to this proton. This lone pair present on the oxygen will donate its electron to this proton and in terms proton, that is hydrogen, will donate its electron to the sulfur. So there the positive charge of sulfur will be finished because it abstracts or it receives the electron from this proton so forming this thing that is sulfur trioxide and H3O positive understand this one this is the detail formation of this step that how these three materials formed from these two molecules of the sulfuric acid it is very simple. The lone pair present on the oxygen atom will give its electron to this proton. The proton will give its electron to the oxygen. As a result, here an oxonium ion will be formed. Oxonium ion, me uh, ion means the positive charge on the oxygen atom. Understand this one? Plus hydrogen sulfate or bisulfate ion will form. Now, since this oxygen atom becomes positive because there is a positive charge on the oxygen atom, now this oxygen atom attracts its electro uh, uh, electrons from the sulfur atom to uh, uh, stabilize itself. Understand? When oxygen receives electrons from the sulfur, from this portion the bond will break because here a stable molecule will form, that is water molecule, H2O. And there a positive charge will come on the sulfur atom. Now, again, oxygen atom has lone pair of electrons. The same oxygen will give its lone pair of electron to this proton, and proton will give its electron to the sulfur. What is the benefit of this step? There is very good, I mean, this, this is very easy pull a step for the process of sulfonation because the proton accepts the electron from the oxygen atom and give its electron to the sulfur molecule. From this step, the proton will stabilize this sulfur trioxide. As a result, it forms. Now, this is our electrophile. The electrophile formed during the process of sulfonation is Dearsland sulfur trioxide. It has to remember, understand? Now these three materials formed, in which one up is sulfur trioxide, the other is hydronium ion, and the third one is hydrogen sulfate. These three materials formed, which is this one, understand? Formed by this method. So this is known as step one, which is the generation of electropile. What is step two? 
स्टेप टू विच इज नोन एज फॉर्मेशन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बेंजीनियम आइन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बेंजीनियम आइन और सिग्मा कंप्लेक्स फॉर्मेशन ऑफ सिग्मा कंप्लेक्स और फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एरीनियम आइन This is step number टू which has again different names: formation of the benzenium ion, formation of the sigma complex, formation of the इरिनियम ion. We will explain all its reason that why step टू is known as sigma complex or इरिनियम ion or benzenium ion. It is very easy. Look at this different. Suppose this is the same benzene molecule this is the hydrogen atom now what happen sulfur trioxide this is sulfur trioxide which is basically electrophile now this pi bond of the benzene will attack on this sulfur atom sulfur generally forms six bond it is very unstable stage for the sulfur atom to form seventh bond so what will happen basically here sulfur double bond oxygen will be broken why because this pi bond will make a bond with sulfur molecule so this can also break this bond or you can break this one also yeah you or you can also break this bond so it doesn't matter suppose i am breaking this one so what will form look at this hydrogen atom now sulfur o negative double bond double bond here is a positive charge double bond understand now this forms this is known as benzenium ion because there is positive charge on the this structure the structure basically contains a benzene ring since it is a uh, positively charged that is known as benzenium ion or this is also known as sigma complex L listen the reason why the structure is also known as sigma complex this is uh, basically due to this reason that in case of air the benzene is doubly bonded here is a pi bond now in this structure the pi bond is converted into single covalent bond that is double bond is converted into single bond the single covalent bond is also known as sigma bond since here sigma bond is formed plus the structure becomes complex this is a complex structure that's why this is also known as sigma complex the singly bonded plus sigma that, that is complex structure is known as sigma complex this is also called irenium ion again irene is another name of the benzene molecule since again this contains benzene irene irene is the alternate name of the benzene that's why it is also called irenium ion now if i ask in which uh, in these two which one is more stable this is more stable because this is a reson resonance stabilized structure but in this case we are going to describe the resonance of this structure i mean this pi bond is uh, disturbed in this case but here this is a still uh, uh, stabilized structure because still there is a resonance present this is also a resonance stabilized structure but what will happen i will uh, tell in the third step this uh, this is also basically a resonance stabilized structure how this pi bond will shift here the positive charge will come here so its one structure will be like this this is its one r s understand is not there is a negative charge on this oxygen atom now the double the double bond shifts here and the double uh, positive charge comes on this one and still there is a resonance i mean that double bond will shift here another rs will form that is another resonating structure will form
SO3 negative double bond here is double bond and this is positive charge understand your student these are the resonating structures that is RS of this sigma complex this is also stabilized but not more stable than this one you have to remember understand this is a step number two now the last step what will happen basically the last step is the uh, elimination of proton what is wrong step number three that is elimination of proton Step number three, which is known as elimination, elimination of proton. Proton will eliminate in this step. How it will eliminate and why it will eliminate? We will discuss. Suppose this is hydrogen atom, this is S O3 O negative. Here is a positive charge, here is double and there is double bond. Now, why uh, this hydrogen will or uh, this proton will eliminate and who will help it in eliminating? Basically, we used the hydrogen sulfate ion which was formed. That is SO3 HSO3 minus 1. Or I will show the one oxygen, negative oxygen, SO3H. This is hydrogen sulfate. Now this will give its electron to this proton. And proton will give its electron to this carbon. And this carbon will forward its electron to this carbon because there is positive charge. What is the uh, advantage of this uh, step? This is very important uh, step because the proton wants to eliminate from this uh, benzene molecule. This step is only done for this case that if this proton doesn't eliminate itself from the benzene molecule, the uh, resonance, the conjugation will be totally destroyed. When the conjugation destroys of the benzene molecule, the molecule becomes less uh, stable. Since in chemistry we generally talk about the stability of the molecules, so we have uh, to uh, keep this in mind that stability is one of the important factors. So this hydrogen sulfate will attack on this proton, in, in terms proton will give its electron to this carbon and the carbon will share uh, its electron to this positive charge. By this, our final, uh, not our final product, I will tell here again our double bond will come proton will eliminate and here I will show this double bond double bond plus H2SO4 that is sulfuric acid understand sulfuric acid has formed that is the same sulfuric acid which was used in the initial as a catalyst while the sulfuric acid which was used as a reactant is going in the formation of product understand now what will happen now step number four this is an additional step in the electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction let's this step is named as like production no, formation of product yeah product or product formation in the last step product will be formed how product will formed we will explain sulfur o negative double bond double bond now this O negative will abstract its proton from the hydronium ion which was formed 
this is what this is hydronium ion which was formed during the generation of electropine so basically this oxygen will give its electron to this proton and proton will give its electron to this oxygen positive which becomes neutral in nature now this will be our final product SO3H which is benzene sulfonic acid plus one molecule will formed that is H2O so this is the detailed mechanism of sulfonation understand everyone